Well, we're back. <laughs> the night owls. <laughs> we're going to be bothering some orchids and check out some blooms, what they look like in the dark. So thank you very, very much for joining me. The last time I think I was a little bit over the top, maybe too enthusiastic <laughs> with my nightly discovery. So we'll just tone it down a teeny tiny bit. But needless to say, let's just see what's going on in the dark here. Oh, and then see if we can tone it down. Ah, look at this. Zygopetalum trozy blue. Oh my goodness, this is just amazing. How is it not possible just to uh, be a little bit serious about what we see when we put the flashlight on? I'm sorry, I just, I just can't. I just lose the plot. This is so next level beautiful. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think, <laughs> because I could just go on and on and on and on if it weren't already midnight, but still had to have a look at Zygopetalum trozy blue in the dark. <sighs> and appreciate that beautiful, beautiful lip as well, the detail of which becomes even clearer with the flashlight on. No fragrance at night though. Oh, but my goodness, what a beautiful, beautiful sight. All right, let's have a look, see who's lurking in this night shot. I'm not expecting them all to always look amazing, but you know, we won't know until we try. Okay. <laughs> this is Tolumnia pomegranate. That spike is actually branching, so these are secondary blooms. And if I take a B-roll shot of this, it washes everything out. And I must say, they are more impressive in the daylight than they are at night. Very, very interesting. This little bloom down here looks fine. It's not too bad at night, but the overall general, you know, wow effect with other spikes or blooms, mm, I'm not feeling it that much with pomegranate. So she's more of a candidate that really, really needs the daylight to be able to appreciate everything that she's got going for her, but still, Tolumnia pomegranate in the dark. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you can already see, I think you can guess who's behind there in the darkness. That is Leptotis bicolor. That was interesting how she was already reflecting in the dark. Very, very beautiful. I have to say, yeah, I'm impressed. I love how the white stands out so, so clearly. That is, I love it. You can really get into the detail. And right in there in the column, that green touch, that is not so evident and obvious during the day. It's like beady little spider eyes staring back at you. And the blooms look plastic. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. These blooms in the dark lit up. Yep, they have a completely different dimension. Gorgeous, it's like they're made of porcelain. Absolutely gorgeous. No fragrance at night. No vanilla at night. Okay, the next candidate that we have lined up, I cheated a little bit because I have a feeling this one is just going to be so difficult to even appreciate at night. She is so difficult to get right. Here we have the gorgeous, the cutest Vandaglossum Alexandra. I really am fighting hard to be able to document these blooms as beautifully as they look to the naked eye. It is one of the hardest blooms, to be honest with you, apart from the fact if you were to happen a Phragmopedium with these massive, massive tendrils. I do have some B-roll footage that we can maybe appreciate. Maybe I captured something of value. They are just divine. They are the cutest little blooms. I wish I could do them justice. But no, the camera is not having it. I guess there are just some blooms that just say, 
I am beautiful as I am. Either you see me in real life or sorry. Yeah, I'm really, really sorry. We can't even pick up that beautiful vintage old lavender that is in that lip there. Anyway, B-roll will tell whether we got something decent because these blooms are just the cutest and no sugary blueberry candy fragrance either at night. I still have a bud to go though. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I think we must have a full moon. <laughs> Everything is already showing up and the camera is trying to find it. Trying to find it. Epidendrum embrae crossed with Epidendrum capricornu. Another little one that just doesn't want to be photographed or filmed properly. But we can see the apricot and the peach color really, really well, also in the dark. Not much difference to daylight, not more spectacular than in daylight, but some of the details, mm -hmm, against the dark, against the night background, they do have a certain different je ne sais quoi. And that's why it's called je ne sais quoi, because maybe those are the things we should never really try to find out. I would love to be able to just, you know, not use my hand and just not have her colors wash out. See how that gets white? It's a shame. She is a cutie though. I'm loving this color combination with the pink and the peach, the apricot, everything sort of works together beautifully. It looks like some magical sunset I'm just missing. A little bit of warm sand underneath my feet, warm water lapping against my toes. You know, Caribbean vibe, <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> Not at night in a cold spring in Southern Spain, but yeah, worth a shot, why not? Put little Embraer cross with Capricornu into the spotlight and see what she's like. I'm a little bit meh, 50-50 on this one. I have a little cutie now <laughs> in the viewfinder. It's been such a long time since we've seen her. Look at this. <gasps> yeah, I cheated. I cheated. I had to make sure I wasn't getting more washed out colors because this is supposed to be a nice night tour of orchids in the dark and not like me not so, i'm not feeling it you know not that kind of a vibe so yeah i cheated on my little phalaenopsis aurora as i call her probably by now 3.0 <laughs> oh but look at her colors look at how those colors are coming through now this is her first time blooming with me in my care and she is pyloric but she has been doing some funky things, which I will discuss in another video. This video is just about appreciating the absolute beautiful details of these blooms. It's just amazing. It's so magical. A little bit fragrant, even at night. But what a cutie. I am so happy to see her again. There is a reason why she is a 3.0. <laughs> so to have her in Spike one more time, Oh, this is lovely. Thoroughly, thoroughly happy to see this little one. Oh, I can't tell you her fragrance that is blessing me during the day. This one is so powerful, intense. If delicate and intense actually match, then <laughs> I don't know. But it is a very intense fragrance that is um, borders along the line of sugar, honeysuckle, a little bit of gardenia. It's divine. Let me just say that it is divine. And she is fragrant all day long. So yeah, she's just opened. I thought I would share that with you. And I absolutely love what I'm seeing in the viewfinder. <laughs> oh boy. This I have to see. This I have to see. It could either fall really flat on our face or it's just going to be wow. So brace yourself, brace myself. It's oh wow. It's oh my goodness. It's like ah, biting fist kind of moment. <gasps> oh, isn't this just beautiful? Oh, this is Dendrobium Memoria Krista Erdmann. I was not expecting it to be this beautiful. Everything we see now is what she is. She sparkles all around from the back everywhere. To see those sparkles reflecting in the spotlight. You guys, I am bewitched. 
Is that a word that is suitable for orchids? <gasps> no, may maybe I should say I'm enchanted. Totally and absolutely enchanted. This orchid at night? I mean, she has won her place in my collection just because of what she looks like during the day, but at night? This is next level gorgeous. This is next level gorgeous. I am in awe. <gasps> It is so beautiful. Oh, I can just see a beautiful gown, a dress with something along these lines, but it's just shimmering with Swarovski crystals. Oh my word, I'm blown away. I would just love to linger on these shots a little bit longer. Oh. This just blew everything out of the park. Insanely beautiful. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, you get my point. <laughs> Whew. Wow. I have huge expectations for this orchid when we put on the spotlight, but huge ones. Guarianthe <gasps> guatemalensis. Mm. Uy, 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 another one fist in mouth. Gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. The color is exactly how she looks during the daytime. Even the flashlight is not washing out the pink silken kind of feeling or look that she has about her. The blooms are not flimsy. They look it, but it has such a silken texture about it that yes, they sparkle a little bit here and there, nothing compared to what we just saw. <laughs> no, nothing can beat that one. But the silken texture of a very, very fine material, something that flows like a sari around you, just gorgeous. No fragrance at this time of night, but goodness me, goodness me. Oh, the color. This is just beyond, beyond beautiful. Get the tripod out, get everything rigged up, bring out the orchids and shine the light on them. It's a different world. Well, that's a bit exaggerated. It's not a different world, but it just has such a wow effect. Switch that spotlight on and pop. The viewfinder just lights up. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I just can't. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so worth it <laughs> at this time of night, so worth it. Oh, Guarianza guatemalensis does not disappoint. Well, on that bombshell, my goodness, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Really hope that you saw something that you before hadn't seen or that maybe it inspired you to go into your collection at night and just take a flashlight or the spotlight of your smartphone and just go in the dark and switch the light on, target it to the blooms and see what you see. Oh, I, I want to thank you so very, very much for watching. I appreciate your time so much. If you've watched all the way through, thank you so much for letting me geek out <laughs> over my blooms in the dark and sharing them with you makes this whole thing so much more meaningful. Have yourselves a beautiful day, on one condition though, that you continue to stay safe. Take care, bye. <coughs>